If you're anything like me, you don't go into anything without doing extensive research in Ophelia. So if you want to know how to have the best experience getting scuba certified, stick around. Hey guys, if you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new here, hey, how you doing? I'm Olivia, I'm a professional scuba diver, and this is Fully Submerged. If you're interested in scuba tips, training, and travel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post videos every week, and you can also find me over on Instagram at Fully Submerged Scuba. I also have a video breaking down the entire open water scuba course, so if you haven't watched that already, I will link that in the cards above. Actually, I think it's on this side as well as in the description below. And let's dive right in. Number one, ask questions. Don't be afraid to speak up. If you have concerns or you need clarifications or anything, ask. You're there to learn and you have a professional at your disposal, so take advantage of their knowledge. Two, go at your own pace. Now this one comes with a little bit of a caveat. If you're signed up for the regular group scuba course, there's only so much wiggle room in the schedule. But don't let that discourage you. You do have other options, we'll get into it. Some people just need a little bit more time than others to get used to the feeling and master the skills and all those things, and that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If you think you're going to be one of these people, I recommend taking a private course. When you're in a private, then the class is set at your own pace and you don't have to worry about keeping up with the rest of the students. The instructor's attention will be completely on you as well. Otherwise, this is just a reminder that if you need to do things a couple times over, that's totally fine. That's totally normal. Don't worry about it. Take that extra time. Number three, be patient with yourself. Scuba diving is completely unnatural. You have a whole bunch of gear that's new for you, you're breathing in a way that's new for you, and you're in an environment that's entirely new for you. If it doesn't feel normal, that is normal. <laughs> if things don't come to you with complete and total ease and comfort, well, then of course they don't, because it's not. This is all totally new, so don't forget that. Be patient, you will get there. Number four is don't compare yourself to others. Just because little Jimmy gets his skills right away doesn't mean that you suck because you don't. I bet you anything a little Jimmy has a skill that he struggles with later on too. And even if he doesn't, who cares? It's not about him, it's about you. Everybody has different levels of comfortability Everybody's able to pick up on things at different rates, but it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is you and where you're at. You'll get there eventually as long as you stick to it. Number five is don't fight the water. I know you'll want to so badly kick and skull and fight to correct yourself in your position in the water, but try so, so hard not to. Divers don't use their arms when they're diving, so you'll see Professional divers, they'll usually hold their hands and just keep their arms in a position kind of like this out in front of them and just use their legs to kick throughout the dive. So the sooner you practice keeping those arms in and focusing on your breath to control your position in the water, the faster you're gonna master your buoyancy and have better comfortability and control and air consumption and a multitude of things while you're underwater, all which will make your dive experience much more enjoyable. Number six is to communicate. Make sure you're letting your instructors, dive masters, assistants, etc., know how you're feeling throughout the dive. Let them know what's up. Keep them in the loop. Make sure you're communicating with them so that they have the opportunity to help you throughout your course. Once you're done with your course, those communication skills are gonna have to carry over to your dive buddy. You need to communicate on the surface, during the dive, and after the dive. These are all very important. Number seven is relax. Take a deep breath. Stay calm. Being relaxed is what this sport is kind of all about. So chill out, take it easy, and most importantly, number eight, have fun. You're gonna get to breathe underwater for possibly your very first time, and diving is really the most out of this world incredible experience, so enjoy the heck out of it. Okay, that's everything. I hope you found this insightful or helpful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, which if you got this far in the video, 
come on now. You're hurting my feelings. Hit the subscribe button, all right? And comment below if you have any other questions. Let me know, how can I help make you a better diver? And thanks so much for watching. Until we dive again, bye. I'm on my last video. Quite on set. No more interruptions. The point is, what is the point, Olivia? We may never know. Did I explain that well? All right, all right, all right. That's enough. <laughs>